ahead, and we're now joined by Portland Timbers head coach Giovanni Savarese. Gio, what are your overall thoughts on the match tonight? I mean, first of all, uh, we wanted to get three points uh, at home. Uh, that's always the mentality. That's what always uh, that we, ta we try to accomplish. Uh, but also today uh, I'm extremely proud of the players because we have to try a different system. We had to, uh, without having that much time to work uh, in all the details, we had to just improvise a little bit and play some players in, in positions that are not always usual for them. And, and then they showed up and they put the work, they put uh, the belief and, and I thought uh, we did very well the first half. The second half was a little more open. I think it was a little bit more transitional, uh, up and down for both teams. I think both teams uh, had opportunity. Both teams uh, could have won and lost, uh, lost the game. Uh, but I think also the last opportunity for us with Nathan, um, I felt that that was going to be the moment to be able to get the three points. Uh, overall, I think uh, the referee did a, a good job. I think um, he was good in regards to not giving some of the PKs that were thought in the box. Uh, um, I, I thought that he did well. And, and overall, I think uh, for us, uh, a lot to, uh, to look into it and very positive things uh, now to prepare for, for this weekend. Gio, you mentioned the, the change in system back three, back five. What did you like uh, about going to that shape? I, I thought the first half we moved the ball really well. We found good spaces. We moved and switched the point of attack from the other. Acting a little bit more times in behind the fullbacks when they open up uh, in order to be more aggressive uh, and getting a few more plays inside the box. But I thought that our combinations were very good uh, in those moments. The second half, um, I think uh, we saw the guys getting a little more tired, so we couldn't find those spaces. But nevertheless, I think uh, we still, uh, you know, were able to manage it well for what we practice and, and be in the fact that it was a, a new system for us. Gio, just talking about David Ashalo, about how big he was tonight. Obviously, not having Diego Chara alongside with him, but came up big of uh, limiting Mukhtar any chances and marshalling that midfield by himself. Yeah, I thought Ayala did phenomenal. I thought, uh, you know, when Tuloma came in there to help them in the middle was great. And then the work of Yimi and, and Santi in the, in the middle, uh, I thought was phenomenal with the three in the back that I thought did a very good job to manage a lot of the things that they have. They are, they're a team that makes good movements on top. And I thought that we handled, for the, you know, pretty well, uh, a lot, you know, the, the movements that they had on top. Gio, another big one coming up in just three days. FC Dallas, they're also right there with you in the standings. You get some players back for that match. How do you guys do this quick turnaround and prepare for Dallas? We have to do it. Uh, so the good thing is that we have players like Chara, Spriya, that they're fresh. Uh, and now we have to look at how the guys finish today and, and make decisions for, for this weekend. Gio, we appreciate the time. Thanks a lot. Thank you.